In this video, I'm going to show you how to make ketones from carboxylic acids. Let's jump right in. Carboxylic acids can be turned into ketones. I want you to notice I need to add an R prime to this carboxylic acid and I need to get rid of an OH somehow. So here's how we do it. The first step is you use a base, lithium plus and hydroxide minus. So where's the most positive spot on this carboxylic acid? It's this H plus. I'm going to pull that H plus off. So if I pull off that proton, I have water as my byproduct. This hydroxide picked up that H plus, but I made a carboxylate. The second part of my attack is I need to have R prime attack. So I need a carbon that's aggressive, ready to come attack. So a carbon like that is a, one way to get it is to add lithium to it. So that's often what we do. We take a carbon group with a lithium on it, an organolithium reagent. So that's an R prime, a carbon with a negative, and it's going to attack. Now where's the most positive spot on this? It's the carbonyl. But if I give a bond to the bottom side of that carbonyl from these electrons, that would be too many bonds on that carbon, five bonds. So I have to fix it by moving these electrons up to the oxygen. So now I have my R, my carbon to an O minus. I still have this O minus on there. And now I have R prime on there. So I get this dig doubly negative compound. When I add acid and water, I quench it. Both of these can grab that H plus. Become OHs. And I want you to recognize what happens when you get to something weird like this. Here I have two alcohols on the same carbon. A geminal diol would be the fancy way to say that. But two alcohols on the same carbon. Well, it looks like there's a water up here to me. Can you see it? Can you see the two hydrogens and oxygen? And you could grab either oxygen, it doesn't matter. So we're going to lose a water. So now my carbon has a carbon on this side, R, a carbon on this side, R prime. This oxygen is still there. My water fell off and I need to make this happy. So I must have a double bond to my oxygen now, a ketone. So that's how I can take a carboxylic acid, remove its proton, attack with whatever, whatever organolithium you want. You get the two O minuses, which become two alcohols when you quench it. Water falls off and it makes my ketone. Not too difficult. Now, one more thing about this. We use lithium hydroxide for the first step because we just need a base. But if this is cheap enough, instead of this, you could have used two equivalents of organolithium. The first one would just have pulled off the proton and the second one does the important attack. So if this was really cheap and you had a bunch of it, you can just double the amount of that and do it all in one step. But if this is expensive or you spent six months trying to make it, maybe you don't want to burn half of it in the reaction just as a base. So you can just use lithium hydroxide for this first step. Hey, I hope that helps. Think about subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my organic chemistry videos so I can help you be more successful.